As concerns grow over fentanyl across the country, the illegal use of it, one local group is raising awareness this month about a local event. It also serves as a remembrance for a victim of the drug. Joining us now is Siobhan Weber and Tracy Robinson with Fentanyl. Good morning, ladies. Thank you for being with us this morning. Good Thank morning. Thank you. Let's first of all, and either one of you can answer this, talk about how the idea behind this event came about. The idea behind this event originated with celebrating Abrisha's life. Um, we got together, a bunch of the cousins and family members and community, and we started with uh, water guns and water balloons, and it just grew from there. Um, what we want people to take away from it is a sense of community and belonging. Why is it so important, Sean, for you to spearhead this event and make sure that it's front and center in the minds of, of a lot of people? Well, just to let them know that we're here. Um, we're not here to exploit mm -hmm. the situation, but more so to help, to actually make a difference. Um, to just offer the programs that we have, just basically displaying what we have to offer. Yeah, and talk about about, about the group Fentanyl and how the idea for that even came about as well. Well, Fentanyl came about for my mom. Um, she, you know, Fentanyl, you get ready to say Fentanyl, Fentanyl. Nah, we're not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. So that came about from that. But it was mainly because we see a lot of different people coming out and saying, oh, well, this is what happened. We're going to stop it. But there was never anyone there to say, oh, we have counseling help for you guys. We, it, does the children, are the children okay? Do we need to counseling for them or tutoring for them? So we came together with a bunch of different programs to support that, which is the bereavement support, our Fit and All Youth Outreach Program. We have our college and our funeral fund. It's a bunch of different things that we have to offer the community that's yeah, going through this. And to that point, I think people so often hear about uh, the illegal use of fentanyl and just kind of the effect on the person, but mm -hmm. they don't often, I think, talk about the effect on the family right. and how it really does impact a lot more people than just the one person. Right. Um, and, and it is a bigger issue that, that um, I think people should be talking about more. And mm -hmm. that's one of the things that you guys are doing. So tell us about the event that's coming up. Well, at the event, we're going to have a bunch of of different activities, we've dunk tanks and obstacle courses, and of course it's at a water park. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have food and entertainment, guest speakers or whatnot, but it's just to let everybody know, since the community, we're out here, this is what we're gonna do, this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, come and join us. And anyone that has been through it, just like us, please come out, please 